Close your eyes, sit up straight, and pay attention to your breath. Take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths to notice where you feel the breathing process. And after you take a couple of long, long breaths like that, ask yourself, does long breathing feel good? Where do you notice the feeling of the breathing most prominently? Focus your attention there and then breathe in a way that allows that place to feel really open, spacious, at ease. And if long breathing can't keep that up, then you can shorten the breath. You can make it even deeper, more shallow, heavier, lighter, faster, slower. Just ask yourself, what would feel really good right now for the breathing? You're trying to provide the mind with an anchor here in the present moment, a place where you can stay. And watch what's going on, both in the body and in the mind. Because it's the mind that shapes your experience. And you want to see that in action to see what ways it's shaping it well and what ways it's shaping it poorly. Because you can learn how to shape it more skillfully as you become more and more observant. But to be observant, you need a good, solid place to stay. It's like being a scientist working on an experiment. You can have very precise equipment, but if the equipment is not on a good, solid foundation, if it's moving around all the time, then you can't trust the readings you're getting. You want it to be well-based, really solid. Then if it's measuring the slightest movement, then you know the movement's not coming from the table, it's not coming from something else, it's coming from what you want to measure. Because the mind has lots of movements going on all at once. It's working on many, many levels. It's looking after your body, it's thinking about the future, thinking about the past. All kinds of things are being run through this bureaucracy right here. And a lot of it gets put on automatic pilot. Something just comes in and it automatically goes out without you really being that clear about what's happening. And so this is what we're going to change, because a lot of this automatic way of dealing with things is what causes us suffering. Old patterns of thinking, old patterns of habit that we just follow through because we're distracted. We're paying attention someplace else. And yet we end up looking for happiness and then finding that our own actions are getting in the way. So you've got to bring some more knowledge, more awareness to this process. But got to be careful and got to be very meticulous, because a lot of these movements are very subtle. But if your concentration is good, if your awareness is solid, then you can see these things. And then you can see where you're making choices, where you're making them well, where you're making them poorly. And you realize if it's a poor choice, you don't have to make it that way. You can change. You take more control of your life this way. So try to get really solidly settled right here. Any other thing that comes up right now, you don't have to pay it any attention. Just let it go right through, go right through. You've got to stay right here to make this your default place, the place where you naturally tend to settle in. Because it's only here in the present that you can watch the mind in action. You can think about things that thought in the past, or you can anticipate things that might think about in the future. But if you really want to see it, you have to watch it right here, right now. So get well established right here, right now. Have a sense of ease and well-being right here, right now. Because not only does that make it easier to observe things, but also puts you in a much better mood to admit your mistakes when you see that you're making a mistake. If you're in a bad mood, you don't want anything you do to be called a mistake. You even, wouldn't even want to admit it to yourself. When the mind is in a much better mood, though, it can see, oh, I'm acting this way and it's causing a lot of trouble. Maybe I should change the way I act. So the cell foundation is useful in many, many ways. Do your best to learn how to develop it and maintain it as you go through the day.